Hey Tappers, I'm not doing well today, so this is going to be a short but poignant video. A trigger warning, it does involve me showing you a picture of a woman with a large but very fake spider on her chest. This is my friend Jackie. Jackie has crippling arachnophobia. I'm talking about she once had a coworker leave a plastic spider on her desk who didn't understand the amount of arachnophobia that she had. And she had such a huge reaction to it. She ended up in the corner, full body tremors. She had injured herself in jumping to get there um, and was affected, like traumatized from that experience. So deep, deep, deep response to spiders. She's uh, had this arachnophobia ever since I've known her, which goes all the way back to high school. Um, often with EFT, there are questions of how effective is it? How long lasting is it? Um, can it really do big shifts? Can it really help that much? Uh, when I first learned EFT, I offered a session to Jackie because I love her. And uh, we tapped over the phone, um, long distance, one session on her arachnophobia. Now, I won't lie. I was hoping that it would be like this miraculous one-time session and she would be cured and free. Um, and that's not what happened. She did feel better. She did feel relief. There was a little bit of movement, um, but her brain did not receive a full release from that one-time session, which can happen, but that's, that wasn't her experience. Um, I was a little worried that I just didn't know well enough what I was doing yet. I had done something wrong. I hadn't given her everything that she needed. Um, but regardless, she had a little bit of movement. Uh, we finished the session and uh, then time passed and we just didn't ever do it again, ever. Um, so then she sends me this picture, this Halloween. And I immediately texted her and said, how do you have that thing on you? And this is her response. Now, mind you, she has been coming to Tapping Tuesdays uh, whenever she can make it. And she has been doing EFT on her own um, ever since this one direct experience on her phobia. But we have never tapped on her phobia again like we did that one time. Yet the incremental efforts that she has continued to do have unwoven this to the point to where her child now says it worked a little bit too well uh, because now Jackie can wander into the woods with complete abandon and not even think about the fact that there are spiders, uh, which she does live in an area where there are poisonous spiders. So some awareness is good. I hope that this illustrates to you that EFT does have big impact that continuing in incremental efforts, it does add up and it can create a really big release in something that may be addressing it directly or indirectly. But overall, your brain wants to collaborate with you and releasing the things that don't need to be there anymore. So have trust in yourself. You're doing a great job. And if you haven't yet, uh, please come try out Tapping Tuesdays. And if you have, please continue to come back. Um, it's, it's there for you. We're there for you. We want to support you. We want to give you all of the, all of the good feels that you're capable of. The link for reminders and coming to Tapping Tuesdays is in the description. You'll get notified every week when we're getting ready to go live. We'll see you soon.